In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do the weave. It looks something like this. Now, this pattern has two main parts to it. You have these two balls, which end up going on the top of the pattern, and this one, which ends up kind of in the middle, just bobbing up and down. See that? The two colored balls go on the top, doing this weavy thing, and the center one just kind of jumps up and down in the middle. So, I'll add the center one in at the end, and teach you guys the top motion first. So, you have these two balls, you have one in each hand, and you go like this. So, what you do is you sweep both of them together towards your right side, you bring the left hand up underneath the right one, so that they're vertically aligned, and then as this right hand starts tracing out this sweepy pattern, your left hand is going to hook a throw back across your body towards the left side, like this. So they follow each other, and the right hand goes under it. And notice the right hand goes under the ball as it flies and comes back. That's the motion. You do the same thing on the left side. Both of them go over towards the left, your right hand hooks a shot over, your left hand traces out this nice path, like that. Now as soon as you catch the ball back on this side, you're going to start tracing again. And that is the top part of the weave. Now you'll notice that after you hook the shot backwards, as your other hand is tracing, your hand that just threw the ball has a moment of freedom down at the bottom before you go and catch the ball you hooked backwards. That's the point where you fit in the center ball. So to do the completed pattern, you're going to start with two balls in your right hand, one on your left, and you're going to do the left side pattern first. You do the normal left side, and as soon as you get down to the middle of the pattern, after having thrown your hook shot, throw this one straight up in the center. So, like this, and then and that should end you up in kind of this triangle position, and then you go back in the other direction. So, like this, up, this, up, this, up. You'll notice that the center ball starts going down as your hand is about to start tracing over it, so make sure not to hit it. And you end up kind of going between the two balls as the center ball falls, and the other ball is hooked over the hand that's tracing, thus giving you the weaving motion. It's not much of a complicated trick. Whoops. I hope that's enough explanation. Here it is once more. The weave. Good luck.